Cooking brown rice on the stove takes 40 minutes, but no more because I'm going to show you how to make brown rice in your Instant Pot in just 20 minutes. Keep on watching for some helpful tips and tricks for how to make this recipe super fast in your pressure cooker. What's up everyone? Welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today I'm gonna to show you a really easy way to make your brown rice. When you're eating your dishes from The Foreign Fork YouTube channel and you want a side of rice, this is how you're gonna be able to make it in your Instant Pot or pressure cooker. To get started, we are going to have our pressure cooker and open the lid. And this is quite a simple recipe. I think you're gonna like it. We have about one tablespoon of olive oil and we're just gonna pour that into the bottom of our pot to make sure that nothing sticks. Some people ask if they can use butter. That has a lower smoke point than olive oil and so I wouldn't recommend it just because we don't want anything to burn. Then we're gonna add in one cup of rice to one and a quarter cup of water. Now these measurements are the exact ratio that you're gonna need. So just make sure to keep that in mind if you're going to double or triple the recipe, make sure that you do the math correctly to make sure that for every one cup of rice, there's one and a quarter cups of water in your pot. That's all you need to do. So you're gonna need to put the lid onto your pressure cooker, turn the valve to the pressure setting, and then you're gonna set the pressure for high for 20 minutes. And then as soon as the timer counts down from 20 minutes, when it hits zero, you're going to do a quick pressure release. There are two different kinds of pressure releases that you have when you use an electric pressure cooker, the quick release and the natural release. A quick release is basically what it sounds like. You are going to quickly open up the pressure valve as soon as the timer is done and that's going to release all of the pressure immediately. It's actually going to spout out of the top of your Instant Pot or your pressure cooker. The natural pressure release is a little bit different. If you ever see that called for in a recipe, it basically means just let your pressure cooker sit for a couple of minutes while the pressure naturally releases out of it without you doing anything to manually get that pressure out. Typical uses for a natural pressure release are things like soups or red meat, where the dish can benefit from a couple of extra minutes under pressure. It sometimes is used to tenderize meats, or if there's a lot of liquid in the pot, it makes it so that the liquid doesn't squirt out of the top of the pressure cooker. In this recipe, because we're just making rice, we're gonna have a really simple, easy, quick release. So as soon as the pressure counts down, open up that um, pressure valve, and then you're good to go. Here are some common mistakes that you might run into when making rice in the pressure cooker and how you can easily fix them. The first one is burnt rice. If your rice is burnt, you probably didn't add enough water to it. So check your measurements again, make sure that you got everything right. And if you did, the next time that you try cooking your rice, put another maybe quarter cup of liquid in there. The next one is hard rice. If your rice is hard, you can put the lid back on your pressure cooker, turn the pressure back to high, and cook it for another maybe two to three minutes and then open it up and test it again. The next one is mushy rice. If your rice is mushy, it might mean that it didn't give it enough time for the water to get out of it. So the easiest way to fix this is to open up your pot, put a dish towel over the top of the pot and then put the lid back on. You don't have to tighten it, just set the lid back on top of the dish towel and then leave it there for maybe 10 or 15 minutes and that is going to soak up any extra liquid that's stuck in your rice and hopefully make it a little bit more fluffy. And then the last one is watery rice. If you open up the lid to your pressure cooker and there's still some extra water left in your rice, you might not have cooked it long enough so you can put the lid back on and cook it for another two to three minutes until the water soaked up. We did use water in this recipe, but if you wanna add a little bit more extra flavor to your rice, you can also cook it in chicken broth. It works just the same, but it adds a little bit of extra chicken flavor to the rice, which turns out really good. If you want to store any leftovers that you have, you can easily do that. You can put the brown rice into an airtight container and keep it in the fridge for about five days. It will also stay good in the freezer in an airtight container for about three months. Lastly, if you want to reheat any leftover rice that you have, a really good way to do that is to put a little ice cube in the center of your rice and then cover it up with some parchment paper and it will add some moisture back into your rice when you're microwaving it so that um, you can make sure that it's not dry when you're eating it as leftovers. So now we're just gonna open up our pressure cooker and give the rice a little bit of a stir to fluff it. And now you have perfectly cooked brown rice in just 20 minutes. The stovetop version takes almost 40 minutes. So this recipe cuts it in half, which is perfect and I love. And that is how you make quick and simple brown rice in your pressure cooker. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you and leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what recipe you wanna try next. And make sure to check out the other recipe that I have on my channel for Instant Pot White Rice, which is also a really helpful video if you wanna learn how to make that at home. Don't forget to check out some of the other recipes that are on my channel and put some culture in your kitchen this week. Good job! <laughs>